In the last video, we proved that the centroid divides the median into 2 over 1. And in this video, we are going to look at the first example. Here in triangle ABC, we want to find out the coordinates of the centroid. As you may notice, this triangle is very special because it's isosceles triangle with AB equal to BC. And therefore, it's very easy to draw one of the three medians will be like this. And this point D here is the midpoint for side AC. And BD here is a vertical. And we can count the length of BD is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So BD is equal to 6 units. Since the centroid is the intersection of the three medians of a triangle, and therefore the centroid must be on the median. So the centroid of the triangle ABC must be on BD. And there is one thing I want to bring up to everyone's attention. For example, if I have a triangle, and this is one of the medians, and the centroid is around here. And you know, the centroid divides the median into 2 over 1. This point is one of the three vertices of the triangle. And it is this part over this part that is equal to 2 over 1. OK, so please do not reverse this relationship. So the centroid of triangle ABC, as we just mentioned, it must be on BD. So we can assume it's around here, you know. So we don't know for now. So we can just assume it's here and the point is E. And according to the ratio, we can assume ED is X and therefore BD is the 2 times of ED. So BE is 2X. And in this diagram, we have 2x plus x is equal to the length of BD, which is 6 units. And therefore, 3x is equal to 6, x is equal to 2. Now, x is equal to 2, so you go up from D point by 2 units. And therefore, the E point actually should be at here. Okay, It should be exactly at the grid point. So the E point is... As you can read from the diagram, E point is 3 and 3. And this is the answer for this question. Again, this triangle here is very special. It's isosceles triangle. And therefore, the median BD here is just a vertical. So for this question, we can just simply count for the length of BD. But if you are given a more general triangle, Actually, there is a formula for us to find the coordinates of the centroid. Let's assume for any triangle, the three vertices have the coordinates x1, y1, x2, y2, and x3, y3. Then the coordinates of the centroid is basically is a simply the average of the x coordinates and the average of the y coordinates. So that would be x1 plus x2 plus x3. For the average, you just divide that by 3. And the same thing goes for y. So it's y1 plus y2 plus y3 divided by 3. And we can test this formula out using this example. Right, so in this diagram here, the vertex A is 1, 1, and the vertex B is a 3, 7. Vertex C is a 5, 1. And you can bring these numbers into the formula. And therefore, the centroid for triangle ABC is 1 plus 3 plus 5 divided by 3. And 1 plus 7 plus 1 divided by 3. And that is equal to... 1, 3, 5, that is 9. 9 over 3 is a 3. And here, 1 plus 7 plus 1 is 9. And again, 9 over 3 is equal to 3. So it's the same as what we did here. Okay, thank you for watching. I will see you in example 2.